Shooting as a conference and events photographer has got to be one of the most misunderstood disciplines in photography. A lot of people think it's easy, but it's actually one of the hardest things we can do. Stuart and I have specialised in it to the extent that our customers now fly us all around the world doing their conferences for them. We've sat down together to discuss what makes us so particularly suited to conference, events and show photography. Okay, we're here again and we're sitting down with Stuart. And Stuart and I have, yeah. over the last few years, uh, concentrated quite a lot on events and conference in photography, it's something that we think we're particularly well suited for, and it's gone really well. And in actual fact, it's ended up with us traveling oh, pretty yeah. much all the way around the world. So what do you enjoy about doing conference and events? Um, I like the whole sort of ambience, really. I like the whole thing of traveling, you know, seeing different parts of the world. I like the fact that because we are trusted, we can get on with the job and it's almost like an assignment that we're left to do and we don't have to be constantly drip fed what they want, we know what the clients want and the whole package means over the two, three, four days, whatever we're there, we know what we're doing, we get on with it, put our best creativity into that actual photograph or what's required and, and it's just a nice sort of steady, slightly pressured but enjoyable sort of atmosphere I think. And, um, and as I said before we've, we've travelled all over, we've actually got conference, <coughs> um, conference organisers and events organisers actually flying us around no, now yeah, because yeah, yeah. they want us to, to do what they know we can do and, and we have had organisers say that they work with local photographers but they had to start again at the beginning. Yeah, I mean that was the thing, I mean like I uh, sort of alluded to there, we can they trust us, they've worked with us for just a long time and we're quite experienced, again, referring back to the press photography thing, you know. I think that's a big you, part of what we do at conference. You've got to think on your feet, you've got to be able to utilise what's around you, react very, very quickly to stuff, be in the right place at the right time and there's little tips and tricks we do to get around that. Because, th because things happen very quickly, planned things happen very quickly, yeah. but also unplanned things. Oh God, yeah, yeah. You know, how many times have we been at a show or a conference or an event and a stand without um, the organisers' knowledge has got a celeb? Yeah, I know. And then they just show up. I mean, one of the best ones was, I remember when we did um, Sir Norman Foster. Well, he just appeared. <laughs> just appeared. Well, his entourage <laughs> appeared, appeared first. This, yeah. this kind of like, you know, sea of sort of suited people, yeah. you know, suddenly turned yeah. up. And yeah. then, Sir uh, Norman Foster just appeared and then famously... He um, sort of used to work with a guy who left when they designed the gherkin and the two of them were in the same room at the same time. And reacting I mean, quickly, we got the first picture of them together for years, shaking hands, chatting, yeah. talking away. And know. it was real cool and it, was, yeah, it felt really good. Um, I'm going to go down a few of the things that I think yeah. make good conference and events photographers. And um, I'll get your opinion. I think multitasking, first of all, is... Oh, yeah, definitely. I mean, you've got to be able to work on your own. You've got to be able to utilise facilities that are there in the venue. But nine times out of ten, the vast, the big conference is based in one part, but there's lots of spin-off events all yeah. around the city. There's one we do for a big car manufacturer, and we actually have to be in four places. Oh, yeah, we both have time. to be at four, four places, places at once. Yeah. There are um, breakout rooms... And there were eight breakout rooms, I think, aren't there, at that, that yeah, conference. Yeah. And in each breakout room, there are 12 people all presenting. Yeah. And we are tasked... To get a picture of each of them. Getting a picture of each of the people presenting each one. Yeah. And that the, they're only there yeah. for about 10 or 15 Same minutes doing that yeah. presentation. So, so are flying we around. are literally flying in and out of rooms, yeah. trying not to make the bang, yeah, the, the, the door the bang, bang yeah. at the back of the room. And, uh, and that, that's a lot of it. Like we said the other day in the other video, you know, you've got to have the person skills and the diplomacy as well as the photography ability. Yeah. You know, you've got to be able to go into a room without annoying somebody straight away because you can sense the karma of the room if you walk in. <laughs> yeah. You kind of you can cut it with a knife. But if you can do that subtly and get in and get out, I mean, they appreciate you've got to take a photograph. Yeah. So you are given a bit of slack. 
but you've got to be able to get in and out and do that. And I mean, the bigger bigger conferences as well, you've got to be able to use your nows to get taxis, oh, find yeah. where you go. Other languages. Other languages, say, can you get here? And you're obviously taking a gamble, because if you do jump in a taxi with some bloke who doesn't know where he's going, you're in the wrong place. <laughs> They're like, where are and, you? And, and, and you know, uh, the other thing about conferences and events is they are planned to the minute detail. But that doesn't necessarily mean everything is going to work to the minute detail. And, and oh, I yeah. take you back to Amsterdam. Yeah. And we, <laughs> we were filming a, a large conference, very large conference in, in Amsterdam. Uh, and we're told that there was a load of cyclists. They'd cycle that from would London. So, cycle from London and we're going to ar arrive at a set time. And we needed to get some stock footage yeah. uh, of Amsterdam, of the uh, of the boats, of the bridges, of the people, of all the, the sites, so that we could cut them in. And we hadn't got a lot of time, so we decided to go and use the two hours that we had spare to do some B-roll footage, and uh, and off we went. And we were on a bridge <laughs> together, taking pictures of canals. Yeah, yeah. And I said to Stuart, "Look at all those bikes down there." <laughs> and I went, uh, "Those are our cyclists." And then, Gave you saying Bolt to run for his money. The last thing he saw was holding the video camera, me legging it 100 mile an hour back down to the finish line. He was legging it with a stills camera. I got a tripod on my shoulder with a big broadcast camera running down the street in Amsterdam, trying to get there before they actually left. Yeah, um, and then famous words to the organiser. I thought he said it was three o'clock, <laughs> about ten past one. Yeah. <laughs> So, um, communication, I've got is another one. Oh, yeah. I mean, but initially, you know, you've got a work, good work and relationship with lots of people, and that spins off throughout the industry. And if you get, you know what you're doing with experience, you get an outline brief of where you've got to be. You've got the timetable. They mark out which what they need as important things, and anything else that you can catch is a, is a, is a bonus. But you've just got to work it out and have the logistics. I think one of the biggest things... I've said to you, if you ever left doing photography, we could easily get a job in logistics. <laughs> because planning your time yeah. to the minute to be in, like you've already alluded to, four places at the same time. You know, you've got to be across the city, you know, within an hour. How many, how many conversations do we have together when we're doing a conference together? How many conversations a day do we have? Yeah. We are literally ringing each other every yeah. 10 or 15 minutes. Yeah, can yeah. you get to stand? Yeah, yeah. Can you get over to this breakout room? And yeah. As long as you've covered it and you work as a team, and if you can get there, you, you get a feel. I would say scout out the venue is dead important, knowing any rat runs, shortcuts you can get from A to B. Or, yeah. You know. and, and, and if you've never worked at, at sort of uh, shows and events, <laughs> it's really easy to get lost. Oh, you know, yeah, the, yeah. The, the, you know it, everywhere looks the same. That alley looks the same as this, this, this aisle. And, yeah. uh, and, you know, when somebody says, can you get over to, to stand, you know, 47B, yeah. uh, knowing how to get there quickly. Oh, yeah, yeah. And you've usually got as well, you've got to do all the stands. Usually mm -hmm. they want all the stands captured, you know, so you've got to... A, work very methodically, but at the same time be very flexible to jump from that to something else to come back to it again. Yeah. So logistics is a massive, massive part. For and I've got problem solving down here, and that is part of the logistics yeah. thing, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, I mean, it is, it's, it's, you know, things change. People, time scales slip a bit. You know, you get event organisers, you know, sort of concerned that their timetable's not running. But, I mean, I've said to organisers a million times, there's only really you knows there's a timetable. Yes. Everybody else just goes with the flow. Yeah, they think it just happens. happens. Yeah. So whilst, you know, it's the old swan, isn't it? Mm. Routine. Yeah, They're well, it all looks away. calm on the, on the, on the top. Everything looks calm on the top and everybody, you know, there can be crises, but it's how you manage the crises. Yeah. You know, if you've got like, good events. Like, like your main comedian uh, with five minutes to go with 3,000 people in a hall yeah. hasn't turned up yet. <laughs> yeah. We've been there. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know, I mean, you get people, you know, who come up and don't do any preparation and then sort of, you know, yeah. you think, oh, how are you going to handle that? But as long as you can get people on screen and yeah. get in front of the people at the right time, yeah. and it all looks fantastic. Yeah. There's many things we can do, Stuart, but uh, standing on the stage for half an hour entertaining people no, probably isn't no, one of them. No, I don't know. You're probably better at it than you <laughs> Right, working at speed and going, that, that goes back to the press days, doesn't it? Oh, yeah, I mean, definitely. But again, it's methodical, methodical planning, isn't it? Mm. You know, that you build in, you know, you go out, you do your shoot, you come in, you've got your laptop set up, you've got your down, you've got card reader set up, you on the Wi Fi, you've got a link already established to the yeah. customer, yeah. you know, and it's working as you go, downloading as you go, working as you go, don't let it all build up, yeah. you know, is my 
key message there. But also, you know, get the stuff out, you know, make yeah. it usable yeah. for the customer. Yeah. I mean, I mean no, you know, it's no good on your camera. No, oh, oh no, and then that's it, you've got to get it out, get it downloaded, get it over to the customer so they can use their social media teams to get it in, yeah. get it out, put it on websites. Yeah. Get in, get on, get out. Yeah, press photographers, yeah. press organisations, media outlets want stuff, you know, it might be slightly offbeat, you might be doing something on, 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 on the conference and then there's like a slight twist that, you know, certain media organization wants a slight twist on that they want a little interview or they want a little clip or they want yeah. a shot they want it. us in the green room to yeah. do a pre-interview yeah. so that yeah. they can go yeah. straight out straight after the um uh, you know the speech yeah. and again it, you know so it, you can base it all back to the press photography days working on your own mm. working efficiently working quickly working unobtrusively i think are the key and factors. i think what people need to know when you're doing conferences. If, if I said to the viewers now, um, oh, we specialise in conferences, I would imagine most people think we're sitting on the front row of a dark yeah. room taking a picture oh. of somebody in a presentation, yeah. and we are, but they're also breaking out. Yeah. Uh, they're also going to visit sites. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. They're also uh, having a, a, an evening award ceremony. Yeah. Um, there's, there's so many things that happen. They're also having, you know, a, a meeting or a debrief or, or networking session, um, or, or doing activities. Yeah, and the other thing is, you've got to keep positive and looking energised yeah. and enthusiastic. Yeah. You know, because your day could start at half six mm -hmm. and end at half eleven at night. Which, which it does. Yeah, you know, and that's that's a long conference, and you don't really get a lunch break because you've got to take pictures during the lunch break. Yeah. There's well, you eat on the fly, you get yeah, used yeah. to eating on the fly. There might, be, there might be a breakout session in, within the lunch, you know, a mini breakout session for VIPs within the lunch, and they want captures of, you know, of that. So you don't actually have dinner breaks, and you've got to be used to that. Okay, now, I'm going, now this is a big one for me. Now, I think this is a, a, a major difference between um, good uh, and, and average photographers at conference and events, and that's difficult lighting, handling difficult oh, God, lighting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, lighting is a major issue. Isn't it? <coughs> yeah, I mean, you've got the ambient lighting that is set up within, you know, by the conference organisers, but at the same time, it's usually a lot of top-heavy lighting, so yeah. it's, you've got to use little bits of fill-in flash again, yeah. just to give you that little bit of an uplift. You and know? we also know a lot of cities, a lot of major cities, certainly in the UK and, and around Europe, use old buildings. Oh, God, yeah. some of them. I mean, some uh, of them. And they're dark, okay, and yeah. they're tungsten lit, yeah, a lot yeah, of them, yeah, yeah. and it's just, you know, horrible sodium lights yeah. in places. And, and but you've got to do it very subtly, because you've got to capture the, the um, ambient lighting, because the stage is their product, you know, it's their logo, it's their setup, you know, it's the atmosphere of the place. When you're doing a big wide panoramic from the back of the room, you know, it's going to be a really slow shutter speed, it yeah. might be a HDR shot. Yeah. You might have to go and drop your flash gun and use it on commander mode down at the front end just to light the speaker. And when you're, do, when you're doing a, um, an award ceremony and there's 2,000 people mm. going to be there and there's a big AV set um, mm. set up, you need to know before that first award goes up what light is going to oh be God, on that yeah, set. Definitely. And I always make a point yeah. of and finding out. And you've got to really argue that point sometimes. You kind of can have somebody who's like saying, oh, well, I'll tell you in a minute, mate. Yeah, but they don't realise the importance to you how important that is. And also, and also, you know, you might be working for a company whose corporate brand is blue, yeah. and they like everything blue. And mm. so, when the awards um, are announced, the whole stage. I mean, I've been at conferences when this has happened. Everybody claps. The um, what did you do today to make you feel proud? Music starts, mm, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> which is always the award winner music, yeah. and uh, and they get up and come yeah. and everybody's clapping and standing up and the whole stage goes blue with a flood of blue wash. And suddenly you're with your camera thinking, how am I going to like these people? But if you knew that, before, you would have pumped the flash up a little bit yeah, more. Yeah, and it's just planning, isn't it, and prepping. But don't be afraid to ask questions. You've got to be quite thick-skinned. Because yeah. everybody's busy. Everybody's like concentrating on their little bit piece of the party. But you need to know your information. Yeah. You know. And understanding needs. Yeah. Yeah, what, what the client wants, what the customer wants, you know. And being empathetic with that as yeah, well. You can't be too intrusive, can you? No. You know, you've got to be subtle, you know. You, you need to capture the essence of the event without being intrusive. And when I say empathy, I'm, I mean, you know, um, we'd be banging on about taking that picture on the stage mm -hmm. in the blue light mm -hmm. 
and we'd be saying to the AV crew, oh, you know what, what can we do with this, mm. you know, but actually, the AV crew, they're not really bothered oh, about yeah. our picture. Yeah. What yeah. they're bothered about is that it's corporate colours and it's mm. what the client wants. Yeah, and that is. And we have to understand yeah. that. Yeah. You've got to work around it. Yeah. So you've got to come up with solutions yeah. to make it work, you yeah. know. Um, hence why I constantly use <laughs> Yes, <laughs> but it may be talking to the guys and saying, yeah. look, yeah. I can't be, yeah. uh, if you're going to put that blue wash on the stage, I can't be at the back. No because yeah. uh, I can't use natural light, it's too blue, yeah. I'm going to need to use flash, which means yeah. I'm going to need to stand quite close to the podium yeah. to get the flash powerful enough to, to, to take that blue away, which means you've got a camera covering the stage for yeah. the big screens. Yeah. You know, they where to, can I go? Let's work out where, where, where I can, can go without, yeah. without interfering with your camera yeah. and work with them. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And I think, though, at the end of the day, though, you've got to have the old flash going off because it makes part of the atmosphere. Oh, it? absolutely, yeah. You know, the ping, 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 yeah. you know, it all jazzes it all up and it makes well, them feel a bit... I've better. actually been at events, that have been smaller events, and I've said, oh, do you want me to photograph everybody getting their award and they said, oh no, 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 I don't think, don't think we've got sort of budget for that. And, and the first person goes up to get the award, they have the handshake <laughs> and they say, well, where's the photographer? <laughs> because they need you to. And yeah. I've gone in and yeah. done the pictures yeah. just because it, it's actually yeah. that moment that they're on stage having their um, handshake and yeah. getting their certificate, yeah. having their photo taken in front but of everybody. I think it's all part of it. That is part of the award. Yeah. And, and again, like we've said about dress as well, yeah. you've got to be able to blend in you know, you don't want to be scruffy or anything like mm. that, because nine times out of ten, you're part of the act. Yeah. You're like extras. Well, certainly when there's a comedian we are, we, we're yeah. right at the front of yeah, the stage. Yeah, yeah, you, mean, yeah. you know, you've got to have a thick skin to uh, take all the... Oh, God, yeah. They always, if it's not going so well, they always uh, turn to the photographer as they get the gag. <laughs> <don't they? laughs> um, i put down here, um, again, and this goes right, right the way across photography, but that delicate balancing act between being forceful hidden and polite. Oh yeah, definitely. I mean, you, you've got to, at the end of the day, you're representing the client who is representing the customer. Yeah. So the, clearly the, 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 the order of the ladder drop down is, you know, client, customer you're working for, then you, but you fundamentally got to get what they want. Yeah. They'll have outlined a brief, mm -hmm. certain things are musts, extra things are extras, you know, yeah. and if you can, you know. Yeah. But you've got to be able to be forceful without upsetting people, so you get what you want and what they want, because at the end of the day it's what they want. And you've perhaps sometimes got to corral them, manage them into doing slightly more to achieve what they want, because yeah. otherwise it'll come back on you as, oh, why didn't you get that? Yeah. And you say, well, I did ask you. But. Yeah. And, 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 you know, realising that, you know, if something goes wrong, we're not press photographers at this event, we're mm. corporate photographers, yeah. we are working to make the company look, look the best, best it possibly yeah. can. Yeah. So when you get off a coach um, with a load of visitors to do a factory visit, I, mm. I've been there, this has actually happened, and um, the factory had no idea that, that 30 delegates were coming to look round <laughs> and they've got nothing to show them yeah. and, um, and they've got nothing to do with them. You know, you need to, to help oh, yeah, defuse yeah, yeah, that yeah, situation. situation. Yeah. And, and, and come up with, with a solution. solution. You know, even if it's just a skim round and a shot of them in front of the factory mm, or yeah. on the roof or, yeah. you know, with a scene or just in reception, as long as you've got something. And I think a lot of the time people can come up with, you can come up with solutions because you've been there before. Yeah. You know, and I think that's what our customers like about us. We do, we've done so many, we can come up with options for yeah. them that make their timetable work Absolutely. easier. And and another thing that we need to be actually quite good at is dealing with um, adversity. <laughs> and I'm talking about things, I know we've been, uh, where we in Copenhagen, when um, they wanted some pictures of delegates visiting a certain place. And uh, it was quite a long way out, it was a sort of 50 oh, yeah. minute taxi yeah. journey. And so we hoofed out with cameras, got there, got it all set up, only for the delegates to get there and everybody to go in and the owner of the building saying, no, I, I don't want any pictures. <laughs> <laughs> I don't allow any pictures know, in here. I know. So. And, and you can say to him, say, look, we only need one picture. <laughs> yeah. Is there anywhere that's very can we do neutral? It? Can we do it outside yeah. or, you know, anything like that? I mean, the other thing is, again, working against time and, and again, looking what the event organiser has set up look great. Yes. Because sometimes the best ideas don't actually play out. And the one I was thinking about then again is Copenhagen when they had all those ice sculptures. 
<laughs> on a boiling hot day in a greenhouse. On a boiling hot day in a greenhouse, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Guess what? They were melting. <laughs> so you've got to work very, very quickly yeah. because at the end of the day, you don't want a picture of a sad looking ice sculpture when somebody spent a fortune on an ice sculpture. Yeah. You know? yeah. So it's always portraying, yeah. you know, even if it's backdrops, yeah. bit of artwork might be needed from time yeah. to time, such yeah. Yeah. you know, and you've got to tweak it. Having the right kit is an important part about what we do as well. Um, oh yeah, yeah, definitely. And you've got to be able to carry it with you. So you need to travel light. Yeah. You know, you've got to use the old uh, the bum bag, as it were. Yeah. And, uh, yeah. Yeah. Um, you know, getting you know having a couple of lenses, one lens on the camera, one lens in your packet, perhaps an extra flash gun with you as well. Yeah. And and, it, and it, you've got to have those because. You don't know what's going to happen, do you? <laughs> no, no. Well, I mean, you know, I mean, you learn, learn with experience, don't you? And, and when you're buying kits as well, then you learn to buy stuff that is specifically good for conferences. You yeah. Know? I mean, we've got big broadcast cameras, but yeah. we've got ones that, that shoot good HD, but, you know, are, are really manageable. Yeah, I mean, like with the steady cams, you know, smaller DSLRs, you know, that you can turn from video to stills just in yeah. case you need that. You yeah. Know? And if there's two of you, it's always a good thing because one of you can cover it off from one angle and the other person can cover it off from the other angle. Yeah. That's why it works good as a team, you know, yeah. dovetails in. Yeah, and you never know what's going to happen. I mean, you know, expect the unexpected oh, at yeah, a conference. Definitely. I mean, we did that one, was it the circus we did? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That was a, that was a, 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 a conference where um, I think um, they, they got a comedian. And was it Al Murray, I think, was the, the, the yeah, comedian. Yeah, yeah. And uh, they all thought it was all over, and it had a kind of the circus theme. And the entire side of the room that night was a, a red curtain, um, all the way down the side of this uh, conference centre. And it, it was just a great, dropped. It was The Greatest Showman, wasn't it? Yeah. So and the, it just, the cast of The Greatest Showman. Yeah, and it just <laughs> dropped. The whole curtain <laughs> dropped. And on the other side was a full circus. It uh, at, um, they go, oh no 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 sorry, I'm thinking of the uh, the conference with the fairground. Oh yeah, there was a fairground yeah. as well. There was I'm a fair sorry, uh, yeah, I mean, I've forgotten yeah. the circus one, yeah. the, the yeah. Greatest Showman. That was yeah. spectacular yeah. because we were standing there not knowing what was going to happen next. We had fire eaters yeah, and we were just doing that. And suddenly people were falling from the roof and you don't know what that light's going to be so you're going to have to react really quickly measure and the light make sure you get it yeah and they were running through the crowd so you've got yeah. a crowd reaction who've got no light on them at all yeah you know you know you've got yeah. a flame you know really high you know exposure and then you've got somebody in darkness right next to you yeah so uh, thinking on your feet and i'm thinking about the fairground we went to a conference al murray did the uh, oh, yeah, uh, the, yeah. the, the comedy yeah. stuff yeah. and they thought it was all finished but we were briefed that at a certain time, the whole side of this conference was going to fall. The curtain was going to fall all in one go and a whole fairground with, with, the hall. with a carousel yeah. and dodgems and, and, you know, roll up, roll up kind of thing with all the lights going and the music and they wanted reaction. Yeah. And uh, we didn't know what the lights were going to be like, how bright they were going to be. And yeah. so you have to, you've got seconds to... Oh yeah, yeah, to work it out. And, and again, you've got, to, you've got to be able to come up with the goods. You know, that is the key factor. You know, if you can come up with the goods mm. and in an undramatic way, you know, capture reaction, you know, again, communicate with each other because say, so you know, what you're getting, what you're not getting, what we're short of, yeah. stuff like that. You know, you've got to be able to really sort of work on the hoof, really, haven't you? Yeah, and that goes down to, to again, your customer um, trusting you. Oh, yeah, definitely. Trusting you to know what yeah. they want and be able to react and be professional. I mean, there's other people in the industry. I mean, the other thing is speed. I mean, how many shots we turn out from conferences, you know? Yeah. We leave the conference every day and all the images are with the customer from that yeah. day. We yeah. don't walk away. And say, them. oh yeah, when do you need them by? They're there. <laughs> yeah. And again, that's back down uh, as yeah. a press photographer. And that's press training, training. Yeah, yeah, get it out. Yeah. And, um, and uh, you know, <laughs> looking at that, they trust us, but you've also got to manage expectations. Yeah, you've got to be realistic with them, haven't you? you know. uh, and, and if something isn't doable, you need to, to, to have the... the um, you know, the confidence to say, I think we might be biting off more yeah, than we yeah, could chew yeah. because it's better to deliver something, at the, uh, you know, on time uh, than not to deliver at all. Yeah, and it's better to deliver something that's achievable. <laughs> we had one, we had one customer who um, uh, was uh, wanting to, to promote an area and, um, and they had a, a budget, which was a, uh, it was, it was a, a four figure budget, but only just four figures. 
and they said we've seen what we like we've seen something that we like and i wonder if you could have a look at that and and deliver something um you know uh, very similar and they sent us the visit california <laughs> ad <Yeah. laughs> with william shatner and david beckham and we're going back a bit here but 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 David Beckham was on the beach doing keepy uppies. William Shatner got out of a car and he did explode. And Armstrong was riding his bike up the mountain. <laughs> and, and literally, this was a 30 second ad shot in Hollywood uh, that must have had mm. oh, a million Thank pound budget. budget. I don't know. You know this million. was to promote visiting California. And our client wanted us to deliver that for sort of a thousand pounds. So it's never going to happen. You've got to be realistic. You know, you've always got to try and like manage their expectations, but at the same time, be polite. Of course, yeah, you know. yeah, yeah. So we just had to politely say we can do something along these lines, but we we, we might not be able to afford William Shatner. <laughs> um, so um, knowing the product. We've talked about, I think yeah. we, we, we've talked about the fact that... Yeah. You Always need... ask for a brief, you know, get it in advance and then start planning instantly. Really. And when I say, uh, when I say know the product, what I'm talking about there is, is the industry that you're oh, in, yeah, you know, how, what makes it tick, yeah. what's current in that industry, you know. Anything it's it's no good assuming trouble. you know no. what's you've good. Got, you've got to, when you get the brief or the, you even get the inkling of the, of the client, I mean, you know, I have a lot of face-to-face -face with the client mm. time and... Um, I'm thinking of it straight away, and I'm yeah. ringing you up, going, oh, well, I think we need to do this, and yeah. we might need to think about doing this, and yeah. we might need to take this yeah. bit or of should kit. We, should we buy one of these to take? Yeah, or should we buy that, or should we buy in this, or should we get somebody else in, you mm. know, to help us, you know, mix, or, you know, do we need a third yeah. person, yeah. you know, and stuff like that. So straight away, you're thinking a long way out. Yeah. And, and calling the client and saying, and, and this is another one, making sure the client knows your needs. Oh, we yeah, need yeah, somewhere definitely. to be able to edit, you know, and we have literally turned up on jobs and they yeah. sort of said, oh, I, I never kind of thought that, you yeah. know, and given us a or, broom cupboard. Or even somewhere to sleep. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we, have, we, have flown in, we have flown into European <laughs> destinations and gone, gone to the, the check-in desk, said your name, and they're oh, sorry, sir, there's no job. But we've called the organisers <laughs> and they said, oh, yeah, I forgot <laughs> you need to <laughs> somewhere to sleep. <laughs> yeah, it's weird. And... Um, Talking about that, getting rest, long days, avoiding fatigue. Oh, yeah, you can't. It's not one of those things, burn the candle at two ends, really. I know mm. some, some people do and some people don't, but you can't wake up in the morning looking like a wreck. You've got yeah. to be alert there. You've got to be there when the client's there, if not before. You well, know. yeah, I mean, we're there before, yeah, we generally get, set it, up it, by the time. It, that but they, even, yeah, I'm talking about our client, our client, you know, the people organising, you know, we're there usually when they arrive, if not yeah. before. You know, I think you've got to look as if you're on the money, you know, yeah. all the time, don't you? You know, so you tend to, I mean, you know, some people say it's quite glamorous. I mean, it's enjoyable, but it's not living the high life of glamour, is it? You've got to work, sleep. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> work, sleep. But you've got to be able to recharge your batteries mm. and you've got to be able to grab the time to do yeah, that yeah. as well because it's not always kind yeah. of nine to five and, and you know, yeah. you go back. You you've know, got to have a nice atmosphere in the download room as well, all the facilities yeah. in the area where you can have a bit of banter or chill out. But you've got to be able to utilise your time efficiently, haven't you? Yeah. And, and talking about that, um, that kind of buzz uh, that you get there, it's a one, the one thing that is always quite difficult and took quite a lot of learning for me was coming down post-event. Mm, I'm not so bad. I know yeah. you're a bit more sort of like that. I'm, I'm like, a bit more Whoa. robotic. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I'm, I'm, I think uh, I'm phoning you up at uh, six o'clock on Saturday morning, going, "That was a good conference, wasn't it?" I'm like, "Really?" <laughs> <laughs> He's a bit more needy than me on that front. I think I'm more robotic, but it's sort of kind of come down a bit a bit easier. But yeah, you do get withdrawal symptoms when you're mowing the lawn, you know, on a Monday morning after having worked full full bore for a week in Toronto. It's a hundred mile an yeah, hour, yeah, you know. Yeah. I mean, uh, you know, and, they, and and you know, we get. We get flown out to, to Toronto, New York, Berlin, yeah. Nice. This is just this year. Yeah, yeah. Um, you know, have, we've had jobs in, in all those places, yeah. and uh, Copenhagen, and, yeah. uh, you know, Berlin. And, yeah. and, 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 and you're out and about, you're at airports, you, you're doing the job, it's 100 miles an hour, you're delivering, mm. delivering, delivering. You know, can you react to this? Can you, yeah. you know, so-and-so VIPs just turned up in the green room, can you stop that editing and, and set this up? And, mm. and it's great, I really thrive off it, but then, Suddenly you get on an aeroplane and you're sitting at home <laughs> and it's like really quiet in yeah. the kitchen and you think, hmm. Yeah. yeah, you've got to manage it. And it is, it's highs and lows, you know. I think you've got to realistically 
manage your expectations and also are you you know planning looking forward to the next job or even if it's a little job you know get out there and, yeah you know, do what do what you can look forward to the next one do what we do yeah brilliant <laughs> do what we do there you go conferencing maybe it isn't what you were thinking there's an awful lot involved in being a good show event conference photographer it's something we really enjoy doing and if you uh, are looking for a conference photographer events photographer uh, i'll make sure the uh the website for Stuart is on screen here. Do get in touch. He'd love to hear from you. Yeah, fantastic. Okay, see you next time. Bye.